In a world where trombone players and musicians want to know the answers to burning questions, top trombone players, even me, are here with Paul the Trombonist Nowell to answer your burning questions. Now, in my opinion, one of the all-time greatest solo trombone recordings ever is your rendition of Mancini's Too Little Time. It just doesn't get better than that in my eyes. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I just want to hear the story about the session and how it all, all came about and everything. Well, it is, it is interesting in a way because uh, he had done the Glenn Miller story and uh, Murray McEachern did all Glenn Miller solos. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then when it came to, to, to do a recording, I mean, I was working indirectly with Hank at Universal Pictures. I was on staff there and he was an orchestrator. He wasn't Henry Mancini yet. Mm. And, but he was, because he was, had with the band, uh, Edwards, the, the uh, pr director and producer, said, you, you can write this Gillen Miller music, can't you? And that's how Henry Mancini became out of the back room. Oh. And uh, so now he, he wanted to record too little time and he had called Murray. And the phone rang. And he said, hey, Dick, this is Hank. He said, uh, I want you to come into Capitol, and uh, next Monday we're going to do uh, Too Little Time. And I said, wow, uh, Murray was, you know, he was so beautiful. And he said, well, he's having teeth problems. He said, I want you to do it. Mm. So I came in, and I'm, I'm playing, you know. He came down, he didn't want to embarrass me. He said, Dick, can you warm it up a little? Which means Murray McEachern, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, that's, so you get the idea of the, Mancini introduced me to the warm sound. Because mm -hmm. he said, can you warm it up a little? No one plays it like you. That's insane. I'm. Well, it's it's truly just well, blessed to be in the room with you while you play that. I just <laughs> grew up listening to that. It's well, really well, incredible. I'm, I'm glad you glad you liked it because uh, you know anything that turns people on is a plus is a plus for you. You know that was what take was that? Just out of curiosity, when well, you, I think we did two takes. Two takes. Yeah. It's perfect. I mean, gosh. <laughs> it's just surreal. How was it recorded? Were you all in the same room? Yeah, it was RCA. Mm -hmm. The whole band was there and played it live. Mm -hmm. And uh, those were the days where you didn't come in and get able to, uh, to overdub, you know, mm -hmm. or change whatever. There was one situation with Capitol Records when we did the, the, uh, the Time and Life stuff. Are you familiar with that? Mm -mm. Well, um, Capital decided they were going to do the swing era mm -hmm. in stereo because okay. you know the original records were just little you know, yeah. ten inch records, and so we got uh, got to do six different bands with Billy May and Sammy Desico taking every note off the records and putting them down for us to play. So I had to do Dorsey a few times. And that's and that's on your CDs, huh? Yeah, I've yeah, heard, yes, 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 I've heard it. CDs, okay, good. CDs. Yeah. But but one thing I don't think is on there. Lover, maybe it is. I don't know. But Lover was uh, uh, really on Cox was the trombone player with uh, Gene Krupp at the time, and he was a boy a barrel house player. He, he you know he, mm -hmm. he he tore the horn up you know and played good bebop and the whole thing. Uh, but he was a he was a you know, kind of a bad boy He's into the okay. into the bottle. It didn't last too long. So when we were doing that, I had to I had to re reproduce Cox, and there was a double B flat at the end. You know, there was the how the end. How, it was one of those things, and uh, and so on the take, I think I overshot it once, that double B flat, and and then. Uh, the next week, so oh, we'll do it again, and I didn't quite get get 
all I wanted out of it, you know. Mm -hmm. So they said, I figured, well, they'll be able to fix it with technology. But at that time, they didn't have it. Mm -hmm. So they called me. I get a call that night. I'm, I'm home. And the, the producer of the record said, Dick, we want you to come into Capitol tomorrow and do one note. <laughs> the double B flat. I said, okay. I walk in to like 9 in the morning. And, uh, and so he, I warm up a little bit. He says, okay, you ready to go? I said, yeah, okay, let's go. And I just... Uh, <laughs> that was it. That was work for the That was it, yeah. That's amazing. But, but the part is, because I was the only guy there, you're supposed to pay for a con contractor, a leader, and if it's a smaller band, you get extra money. So I, I, four of those aspects were missing, and I made $300 for one month. That's quite a story. I've never <laughs> heard anything quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> for one note. That's amazing. Thank you so much, Dick. Gosh, I love that man. And thank you all for watching Bone Masters. We have a blast here. It's so fun connecting with you all and learning so much from all these amazing trombone players. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that help support these videos. If you'd like to get involved, it does help a bit to uh, put these videos together because it takes a little time and it, and it makes these videos come to be. So just go to patreon.com slash paulthetrombonist. My debut album is out, Journey to the World. You can check all that out on my website, paulthetrombonist.com. Along with all of the live shows that I'm doing, I'm doing a lot of live shows around these days. You can see all that on paulthetrombonist.com. Many other things are on that website as well, as far as the equipment that I use and all kinds of other things that you may be interested in have questions that I see in these comment sections. Those can get answered on the website paulthetrombonist.com. I want to thank you all so much. If you have not clicked the little notification it's like the little bell thing. It gives you the notifications of when I upload videos. That way you won't miss anything. That's how that goes. <laughs> Any other questions? Well, if you do, you just leave them in the comments. And be sure to click like on these so I know that you're watching them. And if you click like on these, it does something to the algorithm. It's the craziest thing with the comments, when you comment on stuff, when you do the liking. It pushes these videos into the algorithm of the internet. And what ends up happening is more people end up seeing them, which is great because our whole point here is we just want to bring the awareness to the trombone because I love the trombone, you love the trombone, that's why you're watching these videos. So the more people that can get exposed to the trombone, the better. That's, that's basically the whole point of this channel and all this stuff that's being put out there on the Paul the Trombonist channel is we love the trombone. We want to share the love of the trombone with the rest of the world. That's how it goes. I thank you so incredibly much. I don't thank you enough. I just want to thank you so incredibly much. You are the greatest, truly some of the greatest community of people that I ever come across. I met some of you in person. It's always an amazing time to connect with you. And I'd love to correspond with you even if I haven't met you in person. It's just a great community. And I, I really don't tell you enough. I really appreciate it. So as Paul the Trombone is signing off. Thanks for watching, Bone Masters. You have an amazing, fantastic, life-fulfilling day. Take care.